Hi, it's Nick from Hobby Electronics. Recently I've been working on creating a rover that can be controlled by a Raspberry Pi. And in the next few work log videos, I'll be showing how I did that. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the pieces that I've managed to gather first. Okay, so here is the motors that I'll be using. These are out of car window winders. They have plenty of torque. And I have some aluminium wheels. I'm hoping to put a bit of tread on the outside of those to give some extra grip. Okay, so here are the panels that I'll be using for the rover. I'm not quite sure about the dimensions, but I just cut these out as a rough estimate as to how this will look. Here are the spaces and bolts which I'm planning on using to hold the motor onto the side panels. And the motor should mount on something like this. And I'm also unsure on how wide I should have the rover. I'm planning to get the batteries in there first and then work my way around them to designing the rest of the rover. Okay, so it's been a couple of weeks since I've shot the previous part of this video. And since then, I have cut the height of the ro rover down quite a bit. I have also sloped down the front of the rover and managed to get the batteries in the rover to determine the width of it. I've also got a shaft running through the rover at the front and back uh, as a demonstration of where the wheels will be positioned. And the motors should sit in there just like that. Uh, I'm also planning to stick the electronics in here between the motors and the whole thing will be held together with threaded rod. I'm also planning to cut the front of the rover down at the front there, roughly where that mark is, and then also put a threaded rod at the front to strengthen the whole chassis. I also have a robotic arm which I'm planning to mount somewhere in the front here of the rover. Join me in the next video for where I'll be discussing more about the robotic arm and the control solution.